Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ree's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a classic Aussie dish, often found in pubs but certainly easy enough to do at home and quick enough to do when you get home from work and that is the chicken parma. So let's get straight into our ingredients. First up we have two chicken breasts skin off, some polenta, some mixed herbs, an egg, a good quality tomato sauce, some ham, sliced cheese and parsley. Really simple. So chicken parma is the chicken fillet coated in a crispy crust. Breadcrumbs and panko crumbs are out being gluten free and the perfect substitute is polenta. Polenta is a cornmeal. It comes in coarse and fine. I prefer fine for everything including for this dish. Now the tomato sauce that you use will make a huge difference to the dish. You can use a plain posada or sugo or you can use a homemade tomato sauce or you could buy mine which you'll see on my blog here and so it needs to be rich and quite thick. So with a chicken fillet it is uneven in thickness and to get it to cook evenly that's what we want is a nice even fillet. So laying it out on your board and using a meat mallet with a good whack. Ready to go. So we just need to lightly beat our egg now and this will help the polenta stick to the chicken fillet. Now to make our crust, it's just about putting our polenta and herbs together onto a plate. Giving it a stir. So let's put it all together. Grabbing our chicken fillet, popping her into the egg. Making sure that it's well coated in the egg. And then onto the bed of polenta. And coating both sides, pressing it down a little just to help it stick. So now just adding a little bit of olive oil into my heated pan. We're going to fry off our chicken fillets and it'll help the crust form. Just till it's brown. Oh, I hear that sizzle. From here they'll go on to our baking tray and then they'll finish cooking off in the oven. And you can see there we've already got our nice crisp crust. So with the second side nice and crispy, put it out and pop it on our tray. Touch more oil and do the second one. So to put our toppings together, we just get our sauce. And smooth it over. So now to lay our ham on top and then the cheese. Now I find after I've leavened out my chicken, I often need that extra piece because you need cheese on all of it. Now, into the oven on 180 degrees for about 20 minutes and they'll be perfect. Well, the kitchen smells divine. I think they're ready. Look at that. Good does that look? And now as always, the best bits in the eating. Mm. The chicken is so moist, the crust so crisp. So for all the details, don't forget to check out my blog at the link below. And until next time everybody, ciao.